2.3D, multiply with whole numbers and fractions. Whole numbers can be made into fractions by putting them over one. If we have a number such as 15, we can always place it over one because remember this bar means division and 15 divided by one is 15. So we have not changed the number by placing it over one. Also, by placing it over one will make multiplying with fractions much easier. Let's see this in example one. Example one has three eighths times 20. Remembering that the rules for multiplying with fractions was to multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators after we have reduced, we first must have both of them looking like fractions. To do this, we place the 20 over one. Now we have three eighths times 20 over one. We are now able to multiply these fractions. First, we will start by reducing. Remember, it is always easier to see if there are any numbers that you can divide out before multiplying the two fractions together. I can see that a four will go into both the eight and the 20. Eight divided by four is two, and 20 divided by four is five. I now have reduced each of these fractions and can multiply. Three times five is 15, and two times one is two. Since there are no more numbers in common in the numerator and the denominator, I have found my answer. It is 15 halves. Let's see example two. Once again in example two, we have a whole number. We can place this whole number over one because it doesn't change the number. Now let's rewrite this. 35 over one times six over seven. Remember, reducing before moving on helps us to have it reduced when we get to the answer. Seven goes into 35 five times and seven goes into seven once. We can now multiply the two numerators together and five times six is 30, and one times one is one. Remember, 30 over one is the same thing as 30, so the simplified answer of 30 over one is simply 30. In conclusion, remember that when we have whole numbers, to place them over one, and then continue multiplying the fractions together as you would normally.